So behind me here, we have Lawless, our 1985 square body C10. Uh, been waiting from the machine shop for a 408 Ford Stroker LS for it, that we have an LSA supercharger, uh, Z01 lid going on it. Um, that was the whole goal. On the ground here, we've got the TR6060 that was behind the original six liter LQ4 that I had swapped into it. We drove her down to LS Fest last year, and not even a week later, we threw her up on the rack, ripped the motor out, to take to the machine shop for all the spare forged LS parts that we had on the shelf. Um, thinking it was gonna be done pretty quick, no big deal. We understand that everything is uh, taking longer than normally expected, so it is what it is. Um, but we've been really pushing the Godzilla 7.3 liters. We have our control pack um, basically finalized for those guys that we're gonna be offering. So we went ahead and we have this 2021 E350 Ford van with the 7.3 liter Godzilla. It does have currently the 6R140 transmission behind it, but we are going to be utilizing the 6R80, the 10R80, and an MT82 for testing in the 85 C10. And uh, hopefully soon it will also be getting one of the uh, Pro Charger offerings that Pro Charger makes um, for it. So we can even be making some extra power. We're really anticipating some intake manifolds coming out. We might even see what we can do there. But the whole goal is to get the 7.3 liter Godzilla out of the van. Um, it's actually in pretty nice shape. Although it is a 2021, this thing does have some miles on it, 44,000. Uh, pretty wild, was not expecting it to have that many. Um, today's, another one of today's projects is we got our shipment in from Quick Performance. So we have a full Eaton True Trek differential here in the box with 373 gears, install kit, um, the whole works, and then Stifler's suspension cross member for the 6R and 10R80 and MT82 transmissions. So that is all gonna be going into good old Lawless and we're gonna have a Ford powered square body. Um, should be making some actually impressive numbers and we're excited to get her to the track and see what she does as well as get these transmissions in the truck, make sure the shifting and everything is right with our control pack on our crate motor over here. because so we do have a Godzilla crate motor that we have all tested. She runs, she runs good on our turnkey pallet. Um, been doing some research and development on our control pack. So there's our prototype. It's all ready to go and we're ready to start trying some transmissions on it and get the 10R80 and 6R80 transmission options um, finalized for all the guys out there really, really expecting um, a ton a ton of swaps with these things because they're just insane. 430 horsepower, 7.3 liters in a nice smaller package than the Godzilla. We just have to change this banana snout of an intake manifold. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Someone, someone needs to come with, with something more cost-effective than twenty-two hundred dollars. Um, really expecting Holly to Holly to take that on. So that is it for now. We're gonna get cracking on getting the quick time, quick performance um, gears in the back. We've already got the diff pretty much taken apart here. It has 273s in it right now, which are just a dog on the street, especially with that TR6060. I mean, we were doing like 120 in second gear, which is just unusable on the road. Um, so 373s going in it, full Eaton True Track. And uh, probably gonna do some traction management with some torque bars, traction bars, and uh, see, what, see what she does. Make the Chevy boys mad. So we've got the gears out and you can already see the size difference between the 273 factory that's in it and the 373 that is going into it. We uh, got the package out, Eaton True Track gears going in and uh, got a couple more measurements to do. Got our shim pack and master installation kit, all thanks to the guys over at Quick Performance. Uh, awesome company to deal with, they really have basically everything you need most stuff um in stock and it's always seemed like with me even their fabricated nine inches that we're running in our drag car all ready to go luke's over here cleaning out the uh the axle housing to accept all the new parts going in lawless 
So we've just spent a good amount of time cleaning the axle housing uh, so there's no gunk or debris in there. Metallic shavings to ruin the new gears as well as the true track. Um, a little bit of time saved or spent now is going to save a lot of money and time in the future having to come back and redo it all just due to build up and uh, not getting all the old metal shavings out from the old 273 gears that were abused on the trip down to LS Fest. It took just a little bit more work and uh, Lawless is now ready to rock and roll back here. We've got the Eaton True Track installed, 373 gears, got a really nice uh, gear pattern on it. Um, so we are just waiting on the shipment now from Quick Performance, should be here tomorrow with the 30 spline axles, five on five, and uh, went ahead and run over to O'Reilly's and grabbed some new national bearings for the axles and new bearing seals. So we can go ahead and get that installed and put in and uh, ready to rock and back, rock and roll back here other than um, some traction management with some traction bars. Um, so next thing is going to be dropping the fuel tank back out and upgrading the fuel pump because uh, fuel pump, we could already tell last time, wasn't holding the Prime with the LQ4 six liter in it. And uh, it's gonna need to get upgraded anyhow for the Pro Charger, or if we go ahead and do swap that Forge 408 back into here, um, with the LSA supercharger, we're gonna we're gonna run out of fuel with that that fuel pump anyhow. So, rear axle is basically done, and uh, now we are moving on to getting the engine prepped and ready to go in.